Good day, everybody. I'm Sir Six, and I'm joined with Execute and Algrid. Today, we'll just be doing a brief overview on Pillow Talk. Um, so, Algrid, what is one thing you liked from Pillar Talk? Please tell me your thoughts. Well, one thing that uh, made me do a double take was the fact that uh, Kieran at one point said the 890 jump was 199 meters now. Mm. <laughs> that is pretty big. But, um, all right, Execute, did you see anything you liked or did not like? Uh, I'm just going to hijack this a little bit and say I'm really getting sick of their naming conventions for some of their titles of their shows and stuff. It's just like you try to go back uh, and look at old episodes of ATV and you can never find anything because Disco's named them the most silliest shit under the sun. And this is like a sexual endo on pillow, pillow talk instead of pillar talk is just a bit weird to me but anyway um yeah, yeah but the the episode itself um another positive i actually reckon uh Aaron's a really good host i think they should make him a, a host like um disco i really like watching <laughs> him i think he's really level-headed and i think he asks really good questions um but yeah the episode itself was really good um there weren't really many surprises in there at all. Like, I was expecting what happened to the Defender. I haven't really oh, been yeah, following too. the 890 Jump that much, but, like, it's to be expected. It's a really big ship, so I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised. It does make it a little light on, like, we're literally getting the Archimedes and the Merlin. That's it for that patch. No more ships. And the Vanguard. The oh, Vanguard and the, and the Vanguard. Worked. My bad. Yeah, and the Vanguard. Which so, was... Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. Um, and the law that's system. That's what I was happy about. Yeah. The law and system. the what? The law system, like, if that improves... Oh, yes, of course. If that improves the way they're talking about um, over the next few patches, uh, right. that's going to be really cool. Oh, I've just got indigestion really badly today. Sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Tons. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I think the law system has a real chance to, to actually make a real big impact on the game. And uh, even without talking about how when you uh, steal cargo, you'll only get a fraction of it. But because you didn't pay for it, does that still work out more valuable in profit than someone was just going to buy it, transport it, and sell it for profit, you see? So it, it, might, it might make pirating more profitable still than um, Depends uh, how much legal means. Gets damaged. If yes. you don't get caught, of course. Yeah. And, and they did also talk about that too, unlike the UAE that will chase you everywhere in Stanton, only like say Hurston security will only chase you around Hurston. So in a weird way, Stanton's going to be more of a safe area as long as you don't piss off the UAE and they come in. But that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I did take from it, which I enjoyed hearing again, was the fact of the iteration of the importance of server side object container streaming and how it's, it's still basically one of the main things they are working on rather than squad 42 that and again chris roberts said that it's it's taking a while but once it's in it's going to it's just going to make everything a little bit easier in terms of getting more mm. gameplay mechanics out and of course allowing more people on the servers because more than 50 people will be awesome on yeah. a server uh, it's a fun it's a fundamental tech of this whole thing and there are a few fundamental core techs um I, I actually had someone that I would consider kind of like a long-term backer of this game that I was talking to last night, and he didn't quite understand how the technology worked. Um, and I had to go through how current, you know, MMOs do it, and it's really based on distance and stuff like that, and I had to kind of mm -hmm. break it down for him. So I found that really surprising that some people just still don't get on fundamentally how it works, but I guess some people just didn't care to know at the end of the day. Um, but they just want to play the game yeah and there is the um the other thing we do know is coming in the new patch is the ship rental system which mm -hmm. is yeah, 3.x kind of um my question with that though is what happens with wreck yeah. like wreck yeah. is already a useless bonus that subscribers get but at the moment the one usage you've got for it is to try ships in arena commander yeah, you can rent a ship, try it out, fly it around. But with the ability, as Chris was describing it, to be able to rent a ship, try it out, fly it in game, equip it, do whatever, all the rest. What's the point of wreck? I, I, I um, I don't know how I would word this, but because I know if I just say it as I'm going to say it, people go, 
no way. But if they somehow rolled it over, and I'm talking on a, some kind of sliding scale percentage benefit here, and actually just turned it into Alpha UEC. Um, <gasps> no way. Yeah. No, but like, but if it was dollar for dollar, there's people that have got thousands and thousands of that shit. Like, no, that's like pay to win. But um, there's two ways you could fix it. You could only make it for the alpha. Pay to rent. It could only make it for the alpha. But you get all, you know, and, and as I said, on a sliding scale. So maybe it's at 50%, you know, you only get 50% hey, on the dollar for it. I've seen people in the subscriber channel. I've got 7 million. Yeah. Or is it? But I've seen people in the That should tell you channel. how crazy um, he is and how many ships he has. <laughs> anyway, keep going. No, no, it just says how much I'm a... Right. But um, people have said in the subscriber channel, they'd, they'd, even, they'd even suggested, you know, one for a hundred. Yeah. One, 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 one They're that desperate for some use for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I, no, I, I totally think... Um, look, I, I, I honestly think subscribers do not get enough for what they pay for, and that's why I'm not one. That, it's just that simple. And the only thing I've seen in recent memory that's made me go, hmm, I might subscribe for that month um, is the uniforms they brought out at the end of last year and that Centurion helmet and uh, the Glowy Skull helmet. And I guarantee you, there'll be there'll people that'll, be, that'll sign up to get those, and then they'll unsubscribe again. Or they'll, yep. <laughs> or, or they'll even wait until they're all out, subscribe for a month at the end, and go back and just pay five bucks to get them. Because that's the other thing. I actually, I, actually, I actually think they need to make... Well, to them, they're earning money, so I can see why they let people pay five bucks. But I almost think in a weird way that if they made it so you can, you can only get them if you've subscribed for that month, that... Or, or maybe, you know, like maybe a month afterwards. So if you miss it, you can go back and buy the previous one. But after that, you know, month or two month window, they are then never available again. And I think the other thing is um, a, a lot of people are going to expect them to be exclusive. And I don't think they're going to be exclusive. I just think you're getting them for free and you don't have to earn them in game. And quite frankly, something like that Centurion helmet, it might need you need to get to top level rep with whoever they are before you can buy them. And then when you buy them, they cost X amount of dollars. And I'm expecting yeah. it to be a similar thing with the mile high club as an example, but let's not go down that rabbit hole. But, um, I'm expecting like harder obtained things, um, will be event of available to everyone. It's just what hoops do you have to jump through to get them? Um, because way back when on Kickstarter, they said no exclusives and, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that will be the rule as well. Um, it'll just be that they're harder or easier to obtain somehow. Um, I guess we also went through a few other things. What, what's some of the other stuff? Uh, was there anything you didn't like, guys, that you heard? Other, oh, than, other the, than the delays? The delays on... Then... But I. But we, we talked about this earlier. We, we yeah. all, Well, most of... I don't know. Did you see the banner in the 890 Jam being delayed? I think we all kind of saw it coming, yeah? But the banner, definitely, because... It's a, it's like the 600i. The 600i was delayed mainly because it was a style guide for the yep. whole Origins. The mm -hmm. Banu is delayed. It, it's, they're designing the style guide for a totally alien race. So yep. we know from what It's better do it the right past, the first time. Mm. Yeah. We know from uh, what And then have said. to do a rework. <laughs> and I'm sure yeah. you guys prefer it when they're delayed because they work out better anyway. That's just my uh, two uh, cents. I would hope so. We've said that. The designs they're doing on the Banu uh, Banu Defender are being incorporated into the Merchantman. So, yep. hell, take as long as you like if that means the Banu Merchantman is yeah. awesome. Yeah, exactly. I mean, another thing that I did like was, well, I mean, I'm neutral toward it, honestly, but I was surprised that they listened to the community and they actually added some sort of cargo for the Valkyrie. That mm. was that was news to me. I was like, wow, okay, okay. I, so I, I could. It kind of needed it, but we were also talking before the show too. Um, yeah. I, I'm still curious to kind of really theory craft and go through, um, is it put the Valkyrie in a better spot than the Hercules series? I'm still leaning towards the Hercules series just on a dollar per dollar basis because I still think you can get more done with the, you know, the C2M2. And yes, then, you definitely you know, can. They're a little bit above and a little bit below the Valkyrie. Um, and you need less people. Like a fully kitted Valkyrie, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, is six or seven people. And, seven people. Yeah. And you can, yep. uh, Hercules, you can get away with three people. So 
you can get away with one honestly if you just yeah. want to fly around trading cargo and, and there's oh. there's nothing that one can't do that the other can't like and everyone goes oh you can have 20 troops in a hercules well you can in a in a uh, hercules they've just got to be sitting in the the nova the sorry the cyclones that are in, that are in the ship so there's still seats there and they can still get in it and it holds nine cyclones so um actually someone told me it, it holds 10 uh, so was it you that told me it was 10? It was. See, I even did the backwards finger thing, but anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, like I, 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 I find it very hard to justify the Valkyrie still. I think the reason it's so popular right now is it's in-game. Um, yep. And it's been popularized by uh, streamers like uh, Rexilla and stuff like that. So, oh, yeah. Um, I, and, and he uses I it all the time. That, um, I think that the Valkyrie certainly it's a nice flying ship and it depends on how the other ships fly will, will depend on yep. on whether it does um have its basis but even and i and i think it did need the cargo and i think doing the way they've done the cargo makes sense yep. because mm -hmm. if they're using grab plates for the vehicle to be on the on the valkyrie mm. why can't those grab plates take a single level you know a single layer of cargo boxes yeah and it, well it, you mentioned that single in that regard you mentioned that single layer and i've seen a few other youtubers and that mention that but here's the thing at the moment we've only got single layer or you know one by one scu cargo crates but what happens when we get really big ones it's nothing to say that you just can't put a massive one in there and it, and it fills well, the whole thing so that's true but the only reason i mentioned that and the only reason the streamers have mentioned that is because that's what was said Mm. when they're talking about the difference yeah. in terms so, yeah. of the cargo component. I don't see it as but a huge it note. makes sense. But it makes sense in terms of being able to have a some cargo yep. instead of having the vehicle. It, and we said that right at the beginning. And, and Yep, we did. Uh, so I think it just it gives it that little bit of more versatility. Well, but, we've, we've seen it happen with other ships too recently, like the, mm. the Reliant Tanner. Just those, the, that, those two SCU took that ship to the best version of the Reliant of the lot. Um, it just gave but, it so much versatility. Anyway, yeah, sorry. But in terms of the, the, the Valkyrie, I still think it's got major problems. It's got the major problem in terms of it is a short range vehicle. Yep. yep. Just based on the simple fact that a fully crewed Valkyrie has seven people plus 20 Marines. It doesn't have the amenities to be able to do a long, a long trip because Seven is a lot of people, like, to well, put, in, put in perspective. 27. 27 if you've got the Marines. Yeah, a lot yeah, of exactly. And it does, doesn't That's have a lot of eggs in one basket. To yeah. be able to, to do a long-term trip. So it's tied to either a carrier, of which the only one it can fit in is a Bengal. And when you when you run that number of people off against other ships, you've got things like the Banu Merchantman, the Orion, mm. the Reclaimer, Look, and that's just a few. They need more the same or less actually around the same a number of people and these ships are huge in comparison to uh the valkyrie um mm -hmm. I, I i think i think a lot of like where we might see that as a negative some people see that as a positive it's like well you can get more people in a smaller ship into the zone faster but it's just well, seven ships that... to run seven yep. people to run the ship the 20 people are the ones you're getting in you know but... um Small cross section. It's, a very... it's going to be harder for some missiles to get you, you know, target that ship as well. So yeah. um, it does have a, a bonus over those bigger ships. Yeah, it's um, a very role orientated ship. That's that's it just is a very the way role it. it's, ship. it's designed to be good at one thing and one thing only. That's to put twenty people on the ground when you need them. Yep. If you want to do anything else, you could use it as like a light gunship. Of course, if you have the numbers. Algrid, I like the fact that you point out that it's not long range, and I always ask myself, why do they add those beds if it's not long range? And it, I think it's going to be for the NPCs because they need to go through cycles when oh, well, combat mode or even sleeping mode or something like they, that. They, they, yeah. they explain that the beds were there so that the crew could actually, uh, the crew would drop the, the Marines off, and they've got the living quarters and stuff, so while the Marines exactly. are doing job, they've, they've got their, their stuff. And then the Marines around. come back yeah. and everyone goes. Mm -hmm. But it just doesn't make it in terms of long range, it's 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 gimped. It's even even gimped in being able to be taken Not anywhere. It you, doesn't do you, fit in a javelin, it do doesn't you, fit in an Idris, it doesn't fit in a Polaris. Do you think that they buffed it because of the extra um carrying capacity that was added to the uh God the name uh, the prowler? Prowler. 
Yeah, because that went from Possibly. 14 to 20 as well. Yep. So <clears throat> if you put a 20 by 20 person base, put it this way, I would take a Prowler and a, a, a Hercules over over the Valkyrie any day. That's just me. Because you get the uh, stealth I, I, aspect I and you get more vehicles, blah, blah, blah. I think yeah. the, the Prowler is a better ship than the Valkyrie, but the Valkyrie yep. does look nice. Valkyrie uh, flies the Valkyrie really well. They, they all have their players, caveats. Mm, but they do. The Prowler brings in another siege wave for another limitation on the Valkyrie, and that is the Valkyrie vents all its atmosphere. Yep. Yep. So, and at the moment, there's no way for the crew to say, okay, we are switch on, guys. We're, uh, you know, we're pulling the atmosphere. Other than the, the cockpit. The, the, co right. the cockpit's got that weird airlock, so he's fine. Everyone else just gets yeah. sucked into but, space. You know, so unless uh, there needs to be a way which in which is... the ship can depressurize, open up, everyone gets out or does whatever, and then they could seal up and repressurize the ship. I, I think that actually time. shows another weakness in a weird way. Like you mentioned Which is that, why I asked the beds. Well, the, the, the Valkyrie is in atmosphere only. See, mm. the Prowler well, is in atmosphere and it can go into other ships. Oh, so they're designed. Breaching. Yeah, so yeah, because of the gravity, the gravlev uh, hovering devices, definitely for. Um, I I have one but, definitely because for breaching operations. That's exactly why I have that. Yeah, well, you're looking at breaching an extra, a bigger ship. You're looking at it at about an extra fifty dollars, but I, I'd say it's worth it for the benefits you're gaining. But you know, I yeah, well, I do agree. Back on a pillar. In terms of the venting of atmosphere, that was a a negative for the Valkyrie, yes. same as the short range. So yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> Getting back on a pillow talk, is there is there anything else there that you do you want to talk about? Or should we wrap up? I can't recall anything else really. It was just more of well, yeah. We, we talk, I think we've kind of gone through it. Or, or OCS, delays of ships, uh, three point six. That was the really funny thing. It was meant to be a talk about three point six, yet a lot of the stuff they were mentioning is like twelve months away. Um, yeah, it, you know they're, they're talking about how the law system's going to be, but that's like ages away. They're talking about you know OCS, that's twelve months away. But fundamentally, a lot of the things they mentioned in 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 three point six are not going to be at that level of state. But they make people think it's going to be like that, but it, it's not going to be. Um, you know, always looking to a to a new patch. It's one step forward. Um, which three gonna... steps back <laughs> sometimes yeah, yeah. Um, um to interject just a little bit i thought the i thought a small iteration of law was going to be in 3.6 it Did is it is too? but what i'm saying is the okay, way they were okay. describing it they're describing it like it's 12 months from now okay. and they and they I do they do describe what's coming in they said that there's nine laws coming um and they're basic things like murder and theft and stuff like that so that's definitely yeah. going to be at least a, a somewhat change um and, and 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 it actually gives like it actually gives some actual gameplay for pirates to do stuff now they're not just destroying you and taking your shit they're gonna not actually do you it have a nice, nice they're thing gonna board be, your ship um, and take the booty yeah you have a nice thing though will be when you do an illegal landing you won't get the same crime status someone when you kill someone. oh my gosh <laughs> that's like getting a parking ticket over shooting somebody like are you serious yeah. One crime set. Sentenced to death for, 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 for a speed. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Uh, they did mention that on the show as well, so yeah. All right. Anything you guys want to add? I'll wrap this puppy up. I'm clean. Yep. You're clean? Okay. Right. Anyway. <laughs> look, look how clean he is. Yeah. All right. He's been Seer. He's been Algrid. I'm Execute. Um, join us on the Discord if you want to have a chat to us sometime. Like this video if you like this video. Dislike this video if you dislike this video. Um... And I don't think, oh, subscribe if you like this shit, and we'll get more coming. Um, and I think that's everything. I, oh, man, I'm so tired, I need sleep. All right, catch you guys next time. Bye. I'm going to hit the pillow right now.